Alright guys, we're here for round number three of Pop Ponderings. We're playing vampires. I think I have to keep this hand. So if you guys haven't had a chance, please go back and watch round number two. Uh, where I played against Burn round number match or game number one is actually hysterical. Definitely worth watching. Um, hopefully we can salvage a one-two here. That's really, really what I want. It's really what we're trying for here. Swamp. Okay. I like swamp. I like attacking for one as well. So I think worst comes to worst next turn, depending on what what he does. Another mountain. I think we want to just faithless looting. This temper of the blood. I think that's our best bet. Hmm. Yeah, I think it is. Our guy might die. But we still like... It's kind of like just drawing a card for free. Yeah. Discard. Distemper of the blood and a mountain. I'm like, it feels pretty bad to, to target... Insulet, or like, with a removal spell anyways. Because I just get to sacrifice it and draw a card. So, yeah. I think from our opponent's perspective, this is fine. This is like kind of what we want to be doing. That feels that feels kind of bad. He just scoops it up. Okay. Well, we didn't really get to see what he was doing. So we're going to submit. Hopefully we get to play some magic here in game two. Uh, we cannot keep this hand. We got a mulligan. So I have to keep this hand though. Definitely bottoming that. So what is he on? Colney Garden. Okay. Olivia's Dragoon's a good draw there. It's like definitely what we want to see. Seder Wayfinder. Hmm. So we might have a pretty pretty interesting one on our hands here I'm just gonna play this Olivia's Dragoon see what happens our opponent really didn't do anything last last match <clears throat> another Seder Wayfinder Dragon Breath this must be like a I guess like a Dragon Breath is pretty sweet with with like big delve creatures. That's pretty kind of cool. Regular Swamp. Assume this is a Gurmag Angler. And Dragon Breath gets Iguana, which is pretty neat. We are going to have to suck five here. Which feels kind of bad. So, but now... Gain a life and get to Lightning Axe this thing by discarding Alms of the Vein. Which I guess is kind of doing it. Can't really attack, you just get to trade it for two Seder Wayfinders. What could this mean? I guess it means if we block one, he gets to Gurmag Angler. So I think I'm just going to take it. If that's what his plan is. And I think it might have been. Stencia Banquet. Then for two. So I have Fiery Temper when I want it. Feed the clan, gain five life. I can dig that. 
I can certainly dig that. Grizzly salvage. Grizzly. This deck seems pretty cool. It's like, kind of like a Jun Dredge deck. Not sure about that card, though. This just has to be... Yeah. Gurmag Angler. He gets... That onto it. We are going to have to suck this damage. He is going to pump it once. Which is unfortunate. Um, yep, this is all coming through. There's another Alms of the Vein, which isn't the worst. We're going to do that. In there for two. This Stentia Banquet <laughs> really hasn't felt that good. <laughs> I, like, at no point have ever wanted to cast this card. Cannot block. Gets to pump once. Six, seven, eight. Grotesque Mutation. No! Well, that's not good. Nine, ten, eleven. Means a million life. We need to find like a alms of the vein. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna have to do use a lot of cards to deal with this Gurmag Angler. It's not gonna be fun. Block here. I'm going to play Vampiric Fury. Then I'm going to discard this card. We're going to go to one. We get to untap. Another swamp, which is like not really what we want in this situation, but. To attack. It's the 22. Hopefully, it doesn't have the Grimmer Angler. Next with these guys, we're going to discard Alms of the Main. To gain some life, to uh, four, and then back down to two. All right, still has nothing. There is a Ghoul Draws Vampire. I feel like this is as good as it's going to get. Vampiric Fury is not the worst. We do have to block here. Hopefully he just doesn't have anything. I can't imagine, like, I don't know. Nothing there. Faithless Looting. It's not the worst. Uh, as well discard these. What am I going to give... We have this guy. And then... I think I'm just going to attack. So we're going to go to one here, but like... It's really not that much different. But he doesn't block yet. So lightning axe, which is pretty good. I think I'm just gonna faithless looting here. Mountain. Discard this thing. 
We're like pretty close to turning the corner here. He has to draw a bunch more lands though. I don't know why this is in his deck. Oh, what is this? Alright, we're gonna have to kill that thing. No! I get to east? Now we have to discard a card. Feels bad. Mountain. Alright. I feel like our closing speed is a lot worse than his closing speed. No! Alright, we're dead. <laughs> Alright, game three. Okay, now what? Now we want... Mm, man, these Diabolic Edicts don't even seem that good. Maybe we bring in these like Electricries and then some Diabolic Edicts. For like maybe one of these. These Stensia Banquets can come out of the deck. Uh, another one of these. Maybe like one of these. Alright. So Electricries can deal with his little guys. And then... Um, would like to play first. Cannot keep that hand. This hand is fine. I'm going to keep this hand. I'm actually going to keep that on top. I'm going to play a little bit of a slower game. Hopefully try to get to that on turn three. Maybe that's trying to like grease a little bit too much value out of this, but I'm definitely gonna wait on casting this faithless wood until next turn. Seder Wayfinder. <clears throat> yep. Why out of here be great? There's my faith sitting anyways. No land. Gudraz. Hmm. It's a tough call. I think the way this shapes out, I think we just want to discard this one. Hmm. I'm not going to cast it. And play this thing and then I guess the plan is to lightning axe he probably hopefully plays like a gourmet angler here then we get to go lightning axe blood mad vampire our turn electric reef forum faithless looting yeah this deck seems pretty cool dragon fangs look at all these this is sick <laughs> he has all these Little fucking little bee skins and fangs. Oh no! It's so big! Oh no! I made fun, but now I'm just gonna get destroyed! Oh no! This is bad. This is really bad. Okay, uh, now we need, not that, Se it's a 7-8, how do I kill that thing? Oh no. Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. Oh my god, these custom combos. One in there. Oh man. Trample Vigilance 7 8. Seems good. I think we just have to like hope we draw another one. There's a fiery temper, so that deals with it. Okay, that's the plan. What does he grab? Alright, we gotta do it now.
This feels pretty bad. We're also going to electricery, so we're going to clear his board. He's going to get Alms of the Vein. We're going to be on one card. He's going to be on five cards. Oh! I would like to cast it. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's a little bit of a reprieve, I guess. Thank you, Dress. But, like, oh no, he's gonna cast like Hootie Mandrills. It was a. It's cost six? Hootie Mandrills costs five. Six, damn. Okay. We are on three mana, four, one. He's on one mana, seven, eights. I don't think we win that battle. I don't know why he's playing this thing. Guess it's not the worst. Geothermal crevasse. I like the art on this mountain. Grapple. Grapple. Grapple, grapple, grapple. It's getting back. Translator Wayfinder. This guy's just playing with his food now, isn't he? Hmm. Hmm. Well, this deck is sick. What is this called? Like Dragon Dredge or something? <laughs> Hasty 5 6 Flying Trample Vigilance? Yeah, that thing's like not reasonable. Yeah, we're going to 10. Untap, draw, Bloodfell Caves. E. Blood Mad Vampire. Know that Vigilance, that Vigilance, you know, really just pushes that card over the top. No, Faithless Hidden, don't do it. He gets Gurmag Angler here. This game is basically kaput. Wow, Colony Garden 2. Must be nice. Something. Lightning Axe with the, no, with not ma enough mana to cast it. We died of this flyer. We are dead. So that was kind of rough. <laughs> uh, I guess join us uh, for the conclusion coming up. This is Austin. This is Pop Ponderings. And uh, you're on the mana base.